Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Jade Gemini. Tonight I wanted to bring you a fun little video. Right now it is October of 2022, which is crazy. It seems like it was just like July. Now it's immediately October. I guess the year's just sort of flown by with everything. So since we are almost at the entire year, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, I could confidently make this video pretty accurately uh, with the right information. So tonight, I'm actually going to be going over what are the top five best customizable knives of 2022, or as of. Now these aren't models that just came out this year, but this is like collectively what exists in the realm of knives, right, um, is what I'm going to be talking about. Also, just some little fine points. When I'm talking about this, I'm looking at everything holistically. I'm not talking about, well, hey, you know, I can go and get a custom scale maker to make a, you know, custom scale, and there's this really limited run backspacer, and then also there's this, like, pocket clip I can get for it. You know, most knives you can end up doing that with. Or, you know, well, there's this one manufacturer that makes multiple different options, and then, you know, you get, like, the tritium thumb stud here. No, I'm talking about full ball, crazy, almost every avenue, every aspect sort of customization, as you'll kind of see when I uh, when I go through this character, when I go through this list and the characteristics of the different knives we're talking about. So just to kind of jump right in, I think I'm going to go through one which for a long time and in a way was kind of like the leader and sort of the start of this craze, right? I mean, people have been modding things forever, right? But I think as of recent, it's really become popular for people to just more so focus on, I'm going to buy this knife because of customization, right? That's the whole reason I'm going to get it. Not, well, I bought it and, well, maybe I can kind of do this with it, right? And I feel like the industry is definitely moving more and more and more in that direction, sort of baking that into the knife's as they're designing and engineering them. So the first one is gonna be kind of a mixture, right? Um, and that is the para series or PM paramilitary series in general. So the PM2 and the para three are, are no shock to go ahead and be on this list and definitely be the first with the paramilitary two kind of being the forefront, like I said, kind of one of the first ones. Um, and, and it's easy to see why, I mean, just Unfortunately, I don't have any in my collection right now, or I would show you, uh, but I've had tons of experience with a lot of different models. But I mean, as an example, there are a hundred different scale manufacturers, everything from Flytanium, Sharply Dressed Knives, Rips Garage Tech, um, Rock Scale Designs, Advanced Weapon Technology. I mean, I can just go on and on and on, probably an hour how long I could go, and that's just talking about scales. You want them in titanium, you want other G10 ones, you want, um, you know, superconductor like brass or copper, you know, if you want Zerkatai, they're, you know, Melon, Melton Boss has um, Zirconium Damascus scales for these right now. And that's just talking about that. There's different, um, you know, lanyard tubes. There's one that glow. There's just inserts that go in the inside that glow. There are the glow rhino scales. Um, you can also get different hardware. You can also get backspacers, backspacers with bottle openers, backspacers that have screwdrivers or make the, the pocket clip come off the very back of the knife. And then there's a hundred different pocket clip options as well. I mean, and it's to be said just the same, if not maybe even a little more on the Para 3, because you can also get the skinny scales. You could get the little buttons that glue onto the compression lock. Uh, I mean, you can get Emerson Wave openers. The, the, it's just endless. The amount of customization and that's definitely why I you know started this um, as a good first option second right now is what I think is the absolute king of the customization world when you're talking about an EDC knife and really close out there with the uh, the PM2 and, and the spider codes but it has to be the bench big bug out you know with the bug out it really takes everything I was just talking about with the uh, PM2 and just kind of takes it up a notch. You have a lot more different options that you can customize here. You know, the scales already were something that not everybody loves, um, especially the first generation rivalry ones. They were very flexible. So because of that, 
people started going ahead and running to the hills, you know, making scales in every single which way. What's really unique and what I think kind of beats out the PM2 about the bug out is the fact that you have just these cartridge liners here that just go to here. That's it. All this is replaceable and we see that. <clears throat> so not only do you have, again, zirconium, titanium, brass, copper, milled scales, you have, uh, you know, again, aluminum scales. So you can make this like a hardcore beater type knife that's really, really strong. You have G10 scales um, if you want to go ahead and do that. Carbon fiber scales as well, fat carbon fiber. And that's just talking about scare material, different screws. You have this tritium lock bar insert. You have brass, copper, titanium, anodized titanium, um, you know, inserts as well for the lock bar. You also have, you know, different thumb studs as well, copper, brass, you know, again, the list goes on, glow rhino as well. You have a whole slew of options. Same thing with backspacer, you can have full backspacer. You can have standoffs that are micarta, standoffs that are brass, backspacers that are brass. Lots of different, um, you know, options for the pocket clip as well, solid pocket clips, you know, deep carry. The stock ones are even really, really good to begin with. I mean, there is just an infinite number of different ways you can build this knife out to be exactly what you are looking for. And it's just a great platform. And then to go ahead and wrap it up, they even have scales that change the shape. So there is uh, the advanced weapon technology scales that actually make a different shape on the handle. Um, there is also, I think it's Artemis, which is from Russia, um, scales, I believe it is. Um, he actually makes some scales that completely change the way the bug out look, 100%. Looks nothing like the stock ones. You get a completely different knife. You just use the same blade. So, I mean, you really do have a lot of different options. And one thing I wanted to say about both of these knives that I forgot to say here, it's really like pick your poison as well. There's so many different options and uh, different variants that come in different steels. Like this one's in 20 CV. You know, these are the king when it comes to, you have every different steel on the planet you can think of. You have the Emerson version, you have the Warren Cliff version, you have the Tanto versions, and different steels in those versions as well. I mean, the sky's the limit when you want to come to, uh, you know, sort of blade customization there as well. So really great platform on both of these to build off of. Now a new one that is sort of a young pup, but it definitely kind of takes, uh, has been over a very short amount of time only about a year, maybe a year and a half, has taken on the bug out just about toe to toe is the the 8020.5 Demco. And as you can see, perfect example here. I mean, this I only had the tritium insert. Well, this has all the fixings on it. Titanium backspacer scales. It has skiff um, 38 bearings, 38 ball bearings in here instead of the normal one, which is only like... 18 um and as you can see as well this is a 3v shark's foot blade so this is a perfect example of you know andrew dimko when he made this made it right and it has just stuck there are so many options that are available these are extra thick scales from flytanium which have actually come out and they're flytanium made all made in the united states these two parts um are actually done in you know black dlc titanium again the skiffs as well so this is just a great option and with uh demco possibly coming out with more blade shapes i just think it's going to take off even more there's already rips grudge tech and just about every material you know again you can get titanium scales there's like five different titanium scales you can get original go rock scales a really great one i'm looking at um, there's also some that are on I want to say it's Blade HQ. I can't remember um, the name of those, but there's also ones on there with different hardware. So, and you also have the Lynch clips on all three knives that I've, you know, talked about, as well as uh, some other pocket clips, like I already mentioned for the other uh, companies. So, I think that this is just going toe to toe to really have so so many different options, and it's coming up very quick. So, and, you know, this is definitely one of the most customizable knives, and has to be in the top five of what's available in 2022. So the next option is definitely a customization king as well. Um, the only reason I'm not putting it in is like number three or number two 
Um, I just am kind of picking these orders randomly. It's because this is definitely on the higher end of the price point. But if you want to get into that next sort of high-end um, premium, you know, production uh, or, you know, whatever you'd like to call it, I would say just be a premium production uh, level, but you want something that's more customized, customizable, then you have to pay, uh, you know, the king, which is a hender. So, you know, with henders and everything like that, you know, good brand has had some things happen, but, you know, lately, but again, there's definitely been worse and uh, sort of unforgivable in the knife industry. And to me, just putting it out there, you know, getting an ego about a product that you built from the ground up. I get that, right? I would probably have a similar, you know, reaction or at least, um, you know, my first reaction. Maybe I'm trying to think about it a little bit more, but we're not really trying to go too deep into that. We're more so by, by based on these fantastic knives. So already, as you can see, there are so many different variants of these knives that are available just off of the blades. There's different sorts of finishes. And then from the manufacturer themselves, not other companies, there are so many crazy options. You want brass hardware, you can get it from Hender. Brass standoffs, you can get it from Hender. You want different pocket clips with customizable things, you can get it from Hender. You want to go ahead and get a flat uh, micarta scale, get it from Hender. Milled micarta scale, get it from Hender. Titanium to make it a full tiny, get it from Hender. And all these knives that I've mentioned, by the way, I've, I've you know, had experiences either with the models directly or with this, I've had experiences with the Eclipse, so I can, you know, gratefully say that the XM18 is probably just more popular, so there's more options and probably more aftermarket options, so that's why I picked it. And uh, an amazing knife, definitely one I want in the collection. This one day, the Warren Cliff, oof, that's what I want. But all that aside, just insane brand with so, so, so many different options. And Hinder's always kind of coming up with new sort of things as well, like the, you know, backspace or attachment system and stuff. There's just an easy reason to see why this would be sort of on the high end list. It is easily the most customizable knife out there if you're wanting something that is that premium price tag and premium build. So can't go wrong with the XM18. And that would be my sort of high-end choice for, you know, what's out there of 2022. The last option is one that is brand new, but I feel like it's definitely has all the components to show where the industry is headed. I feel like over time, customization has been more and more and more. And again, we're seeing it in designs. I mean, Civivi just made that, uh, the knife with the adjustable access bar, um, access lock that's available. They call it the Gemini lock which I should love that, right, because my name. But, you know, you can adjust the tension and how you want the knife to operate. And you're just seeing these little things come out over time where it, you know, is more of a focus on the end user being able to customize the knife. So a knife I think is going to catch fire crazy, crazy is the um, is Ben Peterson's NAFS Lander. So this knife is a uh, knife, again, that is... Um, just going ahead and hit the market rather recently and the really cool thing about it is is not only you know is a lot of people love ben rightfully so right he's a great character and you can tell he you know cares about you know what makes him passionate uh you know and, and kind of finding his perfect knife which i think we would all kind of want to do he actually just went out and did it right with all the connections that he made and all the knowledge that he had so when you built this knife, the Lander, what's really cool about it compared to its older but uh, smaller sister here, let's say that, um, is the fact that with the Lander, these scales are replaceable without taking apart the whole knife. So one really pain in the neck about the bug out, for example, or most knives of any type, right, is, is adjusting the pivot. That's something that I hate. I have the pivot just perfect. I'll take it apart, put it back together, and it's just not right, right? It either has some blade play and I didn't notice it at first, or it's just a little too tight, feels draggy, and, and it's just, it's like I've run the knife because of that, right? Unless I get lucky, or unless it's just built in a way that's easy to adjust every time. With this knife, though, what's really cool is you take out these two screws and this pocket clip cap, and then these, uh, the pocket clip, and then these two screws that are identical underneath, and the scales lift right off the, the actual liners, as well as the pivot that's pre-adjusted. It just pops right off. So this makes it where 
you could uh, take off the scales and in 10 minutes, you know, for the day, you could have something that matches the rest of your EDC, or if you're just feeling kind of different, you know, you can end up just jumping right into that. Also, the fact of the matter is, is that Ben himself has released the CAD file for these. So you could take and be Rip's Garage Tech, not have to do any work. Just open up your CAD, put in your fat carbon fiber that you already have in stock, go to town. Rock scale design, not do any work. Just put in that uh, CAD file, machine those, blast those, finish them like you would your rest. Now you're selling Leander scales. You don't have any extra work to do, which is something else, which is one of the first knives that I've ever seen to be able to do this. And it makes it such a friendly thing that if you're a little bit technically prowess and you know some people, you could do this in your town with somebody who has CAD you know, software and bring materials to them and just sort of build your own knife. Or again, a big manufacturer can start out with a sort of blueprint and then they can add some jumping here. They could maybe add a little bit of an extra bump and flatten this out and make it have more of a scale like this with some, you know, a, a sort of finger choil on the front. You know, whatever you want to do, right? So it's really, really cool. And I think that, you know, especially just seeing this project, how much people have taken to, you know, wanting this knife to support Ben and the fact that, you know, Ben himself even said recently, I think it was on the Blade HQ video, that uh, he's already had a lot of people contacted him, shocking him with what changes and what they've done to the knife. I think that this is easily going to be, you know, the, the, the most customizable knife that you can get. And I'm sure there will be, you know, backspacers and you know, standoffs and a hundred other things to come down the line for this as well. So, Glow Rhino, I'm looking at you. Well, they already have that, never mind. But I am looking for you for some tritium scales. Um, so, anyways, that is going to be it. Uh, those are my top five knights that are customizable kings in 2022. Again, I wanted to kind of make this high level, simple, just sort of go through it but put enough detail into it so if you are interested in any of these you didn't know that there are these customizable or you know you've been looking to get yourself something there's a price point for just about everyone here um, and options for everyone here so hope you guys ended up going ahead and enjoying this video if you did please give a like as well as subscribe because it super helps the channel of course i hope everybody had a great weekend and a great start to your week take care have some fun have a great day. Peace.